Ready for kid news? So are we. But first, a word from today's awesome sponsor. Is your business or organization, like Kid News, all about kids? Now there's a new perfect domain to match your perfect audience. Enter .kids, not .com or .org, but .kids. It's a dedicated online space of higher trust and protection for the next generation. The .kids domain lets everyone know that you care enough to choose a safer, more trustworthy, and positive online experience. Think DebateClub.kids or TeenTennis.kids. Even Starglow is in on the action with Podcast.kids. See your ideas come to life on a .kids domain. Visit Hello.kids slash KidNews today for specially priced .kids domains. That's Hello.kids slash KidNews. Good morning and welcome to Kid News. I'm Kim. Today is Wednesday, November 29th, 2023. And we begin with airlines predicting it and the TSA now confirming it. This past Sunday was the busiest day ever at U.S. airports. That means if you were among the more than 2.9 million people who took to the skies that day, you helped make aviation history. Coast to coast, the number of people screened was 10% more than the Sunday after Thanksgiving last year and up 25% from the same day pre-pandemic in 2019. And while airport crowds tend to keep TSA detection dogs busy, they're apparently never too busy to strike a pose. And the proof is in the agency's new 2024 canine calendar. On the cover is Dina, a three-year-old German short-haired pointer who sniffs out trouble at Harry Reid International Airport in Las Vegas. Inside, more than a year's worth of precious pups and a flurry of Fido facts. It's free and available for download on our resource page. Also making aviation history, a flight that took off from London yesterday and touched down in New York a few hours later. It wasn't how fast it flew that made it newsworthy, but what it flew on, which was 100% green jet fuel. Basically, waste fat and kerosene made from plant sugar. The Virgin Atlantic plane is the first to ever make a transatlantic trip without a drop of traditional fossil fuels, which contribute to pollution and global warming. Yesterday's flight proves that greener travel is possible, but biofuels are expensive and in short supply, which will make widespread use a challenge at least in the near term. She's not old enough for a license, but a 14-year-old from Australia still managed to save a school bus full of kids. Izzy Miller of New South Wales wasn't on board. She was on the street talking with a friend when she noticed the bus, which had 20 kids inside and no one in the driver's seat, inching across a two-lane highway toward the fuel pumps of a gas station. Izzy quickly jumped behind the wheel, but then, because she's never driven anything, much less a bus, had to guess which pedal was the brake. Fortunately, she guessed right and brought the runaway bus to a stop. Izzy's been honored for her heroics, but as of this recording, there's still no word on where the bus driver was at the time. Police are investigating. Today is the final farewell for former First Lady Rosalind Carter. She's now back in her hometown of Plains, Georgia, for a private funeral that begins at 11 a.m. Following that, she'll be laid to rest on the grounds of the family homes she shared since 1961 with her husband, 99-year-old former President Jimmy Carter. So far, he's been able to attend some of the events in her honor, including yesterday's memorial in Atlanta. Mourners included all living former first ladies, current first lady Jill Biden, President Biden, and former President Clinton. The Carters were married for 77 years, making them the longest wed couple in U.S. presidential history. But Rosalind Carter was more than just the president's wife. She was also a fierce humanitarian and is credited with shining a spotlight on mental health issues. The teenage son of golf great Tiger Woods now has a bragging right that his father never had. He's won a state high school championship. Freshman Charlie Woods helped the Benjamin School in Florida take the title shortly before Thanksgiving. Dad Tiger also played on a high school team in California, but in the early 90s, the state didn't offer a statewide tournament. 30 years later, and just like the analysts predicted, the world's greatest golfer isn't ready to call it quits. Starting tomorrow, he'll play in the Hero World Challenge in the Bahamas. It'll be Tiger's first round of competitive golf since April when he had ankle surgery. 
And there's some AI trouble for SI. Sports Illustrated has had to delete several articles after an accusation that those pieces were written under fake reporter names using fake reporter photos generated by artificial intelligence. Futurism called out the website, saying the reporters don't exist and the articles sound like they were written by an alien. One example, a story that warned that volleyball can be a little tricky to get into, especially without an actual ball to practice with. The parent company of SI took the pieces down but denies any wrongdoing and blames a third-party supplier of content. Still to come, some of the crazy fun facts included in the TSA's canine calendar. But first, we want to say a big happy birthday to Azalea Krasoff in Chicago, Illinois. Azalea, your family wants you to know that you shine brilliant in every way, and they are very proud of you. And they want to make sure we give a big shout out to Mr. Idlis's sixth grade class and to all Azalea's friends at Chicago City Day School. Now, today's Kid News Quiz. What recent day was the busiest in history at U.S. airports? Last Sunday, yesterday's transatlantic flight from London to New York was the first to do what? Use 100% green aviation fuel. How old was the hero who brought a runaway bus in Australia to a stop? Izzy Miller is 14. What popular website is in hot water for its alleged use of AI? Sports Illustrated. In today's Kid News Kicker, in addition to showboating some ridiculously cute dogs, the TSA's 2024 calendar of its canine detection pups includes some remarkable factoids like this one. Canines possess a sense of smell more sensitive than even the most advanced man-made instrument. Their sniffers are powerful enough to detect substances at concentrations of one part per trillion, about the same as a single drop of liquid in 20 Olympic-sized swimming pools. Just a reminder that the calendar is available for free download, and we've put a link on our resource page at kidnews.org. Thanks again to the Krasoff family of Chicago, Illinois, for underwriting today's quiz. Happy birthday to Azalea, and hello to everyone at the Chicago City Day School. And shout-outs to our other Kid News classrooms, including Mr. Monroe and his all-star llamas at Almondale in Bakersfield, California. Mrs. Swartz at St. Francis of Assisi School in West Des Moines, Iowa. And Mrs. Allen and her Pumas at Northwood in Clayton, Ohio. Thanks for listening. A reminder that ad-free episodes are available by subscription on all the major podcast platforms. And we'll see you back here for more Kid News tomorrow morning. <laughs>